So the customer says, the bake elements in my oven don't work anymore. So I gotta make sure they're not lying. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn it on and I'm gonna attempt to burn my hand. And no hand was burnt in the process, so they are not lying. Let's pop open the back cover and let's see what we're working with. Now I've got my K-Wheats clamp meter, and that's right, you can buy that in the description, check below. What we're gonna do is check for resistance in the upper and lower baking element. We want to see some ohms of resistance, and in this case, we've got 19.8 ohms of resistance. I also checked the bottom element, so both are good. We also need to check the power coming in. On one leg, we've got 120 volts, and on the second leg, we've got 120 volts. That's a total of 240. Bingo, that's what we need. Now, some of these ranges had a thermal switch, and some of them had a high limit switch. You can usually trace that from the bake elements, and you'll find that switch. But in some cases, it goes right to the board, which is what I have here. I suspect the relay has gone bad. That relay bridges the power for the bake elements. We're now going to take apart that board and see what we're working with. Four Phillips head and the whole thing comes apart. Take out the board from the plastic shroud and now it's the moment of truth. We've got a burn mark. You see that? That's a burn mark. The solder has simply gone bad. Now, I'm not good at soldering, but I'm going to do my best so you can put your hate comments below. I've cleaned up that solder and I've done my absolute best at fixing it up. Now, let's retest and see if this works. Plug in your main wiring harness. You're also going to plug in the two very delicate ribbon cables for the LED LCD touch on the front. And then you've got the power wires that bridge the signal so that the bake elements can turn on. Once you've got all your wiring in place, we're then going to attempt to burn our hand once again. Except this time, we're going to see if the element turns red before you burn your hand. And just like that, bam, we are red, and red means hot. So all we had to do was fix the solder, and boom, that's a wrap.